after the governor's office closed the file and the U.S. Supreme Court declined a last-minute stay, supporters of Tookie Williams could only gather outside San Quentin Prison in San Francisco and see the moment through. That started at exactly one minute past midnight and concluded 34 minutes later as the former gang leader and convicted murderer was pronounced dead. He refused food but requested and was provided with milk and I believe also water. Uh, he invited five witnesses, but declined to invite a spiritual advisor. Stanley Tookie Williams had spent 24 years on death row for the killing of four people. He went in a hardened criminal. He died an author of children's books and public voice against gang culture. Official witnesses said the mood was somber. He was helped uh, onto what I guess is a converted dentist chair and was strapped down, and at no point did he seem to give any kind of resistance whatsoever. He kept lifting his head, shaking his head, putting it back down, almost as if in, in, it seemed like disgust to me and frustration. And I thought he said, I don't know if anyone else heard this, but you doing that right? The Williams case was hotly and publicly fought, his own people to the fore. The state of California just killed an innocent man. Yeah. Yeah with more established campaigners behind them. The issue of my being here, my being here is the absolute abolishment of the death penalty. I think that the killing of um, Tucker tonight might raise a whole debate about death penalty, life without parole, and other options to another level. And at points during the night, tempers did start to fray. What about the families? What about the, you know, the people he tied up and murdered in cold blood? Let him go, man. Let him go. Williams always maintained he was innocent and unable, therefore, to repent his crimes. That lack of repentance in the end swung the decision for the state of California.